This video is about Fucus installation on Windows and Google Colab. Windows installation is simple. You just need to download this zip file from here. The file here contains all the necessary utilities to run the project. The file size is a bit larger. It takes some time to download. I created a temporary folder for the video having the downloaded file inside it. Right-click the file and extract the zip file. Choose the path to extract, then click Extract. The extraction will take some time. It took 10 minutes on my computer. Once done, you will get a folder like this. Inside you will find a folder having Python and Fucus code like this. Also some Windows batch files to run the Fucus application. When you double-click to run the file, Windows will give a warning because the file contains some commands. You can ignore the warning because this is an open source project. It is assumed that any presence of malicious code would have been reported by users around the globe. Every time you run the application like this, Fucus will check for the presence of all the necessary files. As this is our first time running the application, the necessary files are missing. Fucus will download the files. Once done, Fucus will be running on the local IP address. It will also trigger to open the default web browser. By giving a prompt for needed image and clicking generate will start the process of image generation. The image is generated, but still there are files to be downloaded. Click advance and you will see preset options here like this. If you select any of the presets, it will start downloading the files for the selected preset. These can be large files and will take some time to download. Once the download is completed, this loading icons will disappear and the options will be visible like it was before. Changing preset will also make Fucus to load a different model, which takes a considerable amount of time. Let's look about running Fucus on Google Colab. Running on Colab was simple, thanks to the project collaborator. There is a one-click option present here, which will take you to Google Colab. Just make sure you are logged in into your Google account. This file here is responsible for the simple Colab option we saw just below. This is the Colab interface, loaded with few instructions by Fucus application. Among these five instructions, this line is responsible for starting the application. By clicking this play button, all the instructions will run one by one. Right now, this warning appeared because this instruction was added by an outsider. I can ignore this because Fucus has been verified by many users. The instruction is responsible for having the necessary environment and files to run the application. The process may take some time. After a few minutes, I got the local IP address and the public address for the Fucus application. We were using the local IP address when we installed Fucus in our personal computer. Now we are using Google's computer, so we have to use the public address to access the running application. This is the application loading its interface using Google Colab computer. You can also share this public address with other people's. But the address is active for a limited period of time. By giving a prompt and generating an image. You will see Fucus application giving some output in Colab similar to what you see in your computer's command prompt. There is a spike in usage of the hardware as the image generation started. Loading a model, getting the result, takes time for the first image. Later, I checked. The speed is almost similar to my personal computer. Also, the results are similar to what I get on my computer. In the advanced section, if we look at the models, we have only one model. Let's try downloading a model to generate a different kind of image. On Civit AI, I will download this Animagine model. This is an SDXL model. I will try downloading this and uploading the same on Google Colab. In Colab, if you click the folder icon, inside content you will find Fucus folder. In Models, then Checkpoint. You will see the default checkpoint, Juggernaut model. There is an option to upload files, 
I will try using that. The warning here says about having a backup of what is being uploaded. Because the folders and files we are looking in our collab will be removed. The current limit for using collab for free is 12 hours. This is the model I selected for the upload, but it has no progress. After waiting for some time, I checked in the network section. There is nothing being uploaded. I cancelled the upload after 15 minutes. I tried other options, but I was not able to upload large files. Only small files were uploaded with the options we saw. This is a Linux system, so the Linux command should work. This command shows the files and folder in the current directory, but it's not working right now. The Fucus command is already running above. It has to be stopped first by clicking the stop button. Once the Fucus stops running, I should get the output from the next command I added. Right now I am inside Fucus folder. This CSS file is here. The extras folder is named here. This means, any command I run, will have an effect into Fucus folder. Now, we'll run a command to download a file. By clicking this, plus code icon I will get an option to run a command. I will use wget to download a file from a link. On Civit AI, this is the file I want to download, and this will be the link I copied. I will paste the link in between quotes and run the command. The output of the command says I am unauthorized. Either Civit AI or the owner of this file do not want an unknown person downloading the file. We will need to have our token as an identity to download the file. Log in to Civit AI and go to Account Settings. Scroll to the bottom. In the API key section, click the Add Key button. Name the key. Copy the key. At the end of the link, type and token equals, then paste the token. Keep it within the quotes, as it is a part of the download link. The download has begun. This is the file name given to the file while downloading. As said earlier, I am into Fucus folder. So the file downloaded is inside Fucus folder. You can try giving a parameter for file path if you understand terminal commands. Or you can drag the file to the models folder. Then to the checkpoint folder. I will rename the file as anime model. Let's start the application. This is where we started the application from. There are multiple commands which include the Fucus installation. Now, I need this last command, which starts the application. I will copy the command by Ctrl C and create a section for the copied code. Paste the command and click the play icon to run. We got the public address of the running application. The application is running. Let's check the model I downloaded. The anime model is missing. I forgot to add the file extension while renaming, hence it was not identified by Fucus. Adding a dot safe tensors after model's name should work. I got the model. Let's try creating an image using the anime model. The anime models are working as expected. The functionality works similar to a desktop without any issues. It is an easily a free alternative for a computer with a decent graphic card. Let's try using a LoRa. For LoRa, I will download this Princess LoRa for SDXL models. Copy the download link. I will replace the download link of the anime model with the LoRa link. The changes made to add the token will remain as it is. Click the play icon to run the download command. Make sure Fucus is not running like this. 
It won't download if another command is running. The file has been downloaded inside Fucus folder. As said previously, drag the file into the LoRa folder. Make sure to give the extension while renaming the file by adding .safetensor. I will use the same prompt and add the LoRa to see the effect. To see the effect, I need to add some weight as well. Let's generate. We got the LoRa working properly. Different princess images were generated because I didn't use the keywords. Next, I will try Ruined Focus and Flux in Google Colab. Let me know if you have some other suggestions.